again, good afternoon. To, uh, to start the last lecture for today, the last but not the least, uh, you've uh, seen and heard her talk in the whole lecture series, even the, uh, the last uh, the last lecture series last December. Uh, she is the author of the book that you have right now. She's a double doctor, doctoral degree holder. She obtained her first PhD in mathematics here at the DLSU, and her second PhD at Kyushu University in Japan. Dr. Nakon was a GSBS Retap Scholar and was a second prize winner of the PICA Star Outstanding Dissertation Award in 2001. Uh, she has published several articles and has given numerous lectures in, on her interest, namely in the areas of coding theory, cryptography, game theory, both here in the Philippines and abroad. She has co-authored books in mathematics, as well as the book that you have in that of the essential mathematics for the modern world. Please welcome my academic mother, Dr. Edelina G. Nakon. when we um, conducted classes um, using the MMW syllabus. Okay, but before this, sorry, um, I usually start giving a lecture on cryptography by giving this um, short clip uh, for me to be able to motivate them, no? So let me show you this short clip. It's about steganography. And I don't know if you're, if you're familiar with... Uh, the the series the numbers. Ako wala kong familiar kayo doon, pero ito yung ginagamit ko pang motivate sa mga studyante. So I usually show them this uh, short clip. Oh wait, it's converting. Ah, anyway, I, I think I will not be able to show you this. But in this uh, series, there is this... Um, instance where in steganography is uh, shown to be applicable in solving crimes. Okay. Pero diretso na lang po ako dun sa prepare ko uh, presentation which can also be used for actual classroom use. Uh, may I know kung ilang po sa inyo yung talaga nag-attend noon pa ang ano part one. Okay. Okay. So, medyo madami-dami rin. Pero kasi may mga hindi, no? May mga hindi. So, later after discussing this, I would like to do a some review on what we did last time so that you will be able to see the context of all that we're doing here. Okay. Ay, ano ba yung ginagawa? Sorry po. We usually pose problems like this at the start, but I believe um, this one can still be improved. Remember the, the lecture of Mam Ching Kanina? So probably um, we can think of a better problem to pose in order for the students to see, uh, you know, the the 
problem applicable in the case of cryptography so that they would somehow see its usefulness in uh, the modern world. So ito may Johnny siya, no? It's about using RSA in encoding such messages like this is a secret message. So I usually start uh, telling about the goal of a crypto system. Uh, so you see there the goal of cryptography, you know, sending messages. Still, it's about communication. That's why this topic is really related to the field of coding, coding theory. As you can see, this ating outline, we group these two together under the topic of communication. So if coding theory is about efficiency, cryptography is about security in mind. So usually in many books, you always have this notion of a sender, meron kang sender, usually ginagamit natin si Alice, and then you have Bob, the receiver, and then someone in the middle, Eve, was meaning eavesdropper, so katawa yung mga sadyante ganyan, Okay, wanting to know that secret message that Alice is uh, purposely sent, uh, will purposely send to Bob. So here is again a, a figure or, or a picture um, describing what communicating security security uh, security is all about. Okay, so you have the sender sending this message, and this has to be encrypted you know, using some key. So that in the end, it will become a, a cipher text, and Bob will be able to get this cipher text, and in the end, decrypt that message so that he will be able to get the actual plain text. Of course, there's Eve wanting to know the secret, the secret message that Alice is sending to to Bob. And then, after uh, introducing this concept, no, bakit ba kailangan ng uh, ano ba yung goal ng cryptography? We tell them about some, uh, again, uh, knowledge, no? some um, terminologies, like, for example, encryption. We may mali akong spelling. What is encryption? And also, what is decryption? Encryption is the process of using an algorithm to transform information into a format that cannot be read. So it's like covering your message. Decryption, on the other hand, is just the opposite of this process of encryption. Pabaliktad. And then you, you introduce uh, words like plain text and cipher text. Okay. So you want your students to learn about these terminologies. So plain text is now being converted into what we call cipher text through an encryption process, while cipher text is being converted into plain text using a decryption process. So this is more about, again, uh, describing what a crypto system in relation to these two processes that were already uh, described to the students. Breaking crypto systems, on the other hand, is also part of what we call cryptanalysis. So cryptography and cryptanalysis will make up what we call cryptography. So what I have here is a diagram. Supposedly, mayroon ako mga araw dyan na wala. So cryptography, I'm sorry, cryptology will include these two, cryptography and cryptanalysis. Under cryptography, we will study, you tell your students, we will study the concept of encryption and decryption. Okay. So we now talk about the objectives of encryption. You would actually want your students to really understand these objectives. So what I have there, is uh, the first um, objective, confidentiality. The sender, let us call her again, Alice, and the receiver, again, we call him Bob, usually ganyan, ano? Alice is the sender, and Bob is the receiver, can be assured that no third party can read the message. This is actually the, the usual known uh, reason why we're doing encryption. You want your secret message to be unknown to anyone other than the receiver. And then you have another uh, goal. Yeah. Alice and Bob can be sure that no third party can make the change, some changes in the actual message. 
So you want integrity. So you encrypt for integrity also. Third is authenticity. Bob being the receiver can be sure that it is Alice who really sent the message. So I, I thought of um, looking at this picture, that was, uh, which is actually at that time, no araw pa is the, the seal. No? Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe this would uh, help them realize this is about authenticity. Non-repudiation, it means Bob can prove to any third party that Alice is really the one who sent messages. So the objectives of encryption are confidentiality, integrity, authenticity, and non-repudiation. Okay, let's try this. So, pag nag, nag, ginamit namin itong uh, slide na to, at that time, medyo masyado pang formal. Okay, so let's now have this um, examples. What I want to discuss in this slide are some known uh, ciphers, the simple ones. The question is, can you crack the code? I would usually give something like this. This is called the pig pen cipher. Siyempre, at this point, wala naman talaga makakuha ng meaning niya, ano? Unless I give something like this. Okay, class, this is our key. This is the key being used in order for me to be able to write some message like this. Okay, together, let's try to decipher this. So in class, usually, na, na, meron na yung mga nagbubulungan, ayan na. So, ah, meron na. Meron isa o dalawa dyan. Usually, talaga makukuha niya kung paano. Sige, so let's try. Maglaro muna tayo para tayo mga bata. What do you think will be the use of this key? Uh, hold it. Wala akong binibigay ng hint sa mga studyante ko usually ganyan. No? Pero some of them, at least one, will be able to crack the code. And this is where the excitement comes. Mathematics. Meron na niya. Ay, alam ko na. O sige. So this one is T. Coming from this. And then this one is H. I. And then the next is I. I. Yes. S. I. So, I. this I. is secret. Uh, a secret message. Or this is for the baka kasi nakako ano sila naka naka deco naka decipher sila. So, and then of course the next step is for them to experience how to use the key in and ciphering naman. Okay? So, you let them do this, the blackboard. And then we talk about something in the past. We will introduce the Caesar's uh, cipher. So when we teach this, sometimes you really have to, you know, encourage them to think, bakit nga, ba't kailangan pa ng mga secret? And then here's the Caesar cipher. And then maybe you can, if you're using this slide, or if, you're, if you want to use this kind of cipher in order to introduce the topic of cryptography, maybe you would want them to recall about their knowledge of history. Ito si Caesar ay kilalang emperor. Marami siyang kalaban. So kailangan mas maitago niya yung mga mensahe niya sa kanyang mga ano no uh, ka allies para kasi ma-intercept ng mga kalaban no? and then we talk about the Caesar cipher so this is the Caesar cipher a will be equivalent to d so a will be now written as d b will be written as e and so on so if I were you, okay, so be must okay now class, let's use the Caesar cipher in order to encrypt the word secret. So S is V. 
E is H. C is F. R is U. R is U. E again is H and T is W. Okay. So there you have your encrypted message. Plain text, we go back to the terminology. Plain text is secret. You use this key for the encryption process. And then the cipher text is VHFUHW. So perhaps one of the possible questions that you can ask the student is this. Do you think that this is easy to crack? Easy to decode? Yes. Because how many possible ways, um, I mean, you know, if you already know the, the way, the, the process, kaya kaya, no? One possible way is, is instead of shifting to the right, let's say, yung A naging D, pwede usap pa konti ba? Pwede usap natin si A maging E, si B maging F, etc. No? So it's just like shifting. Okay, so we know that there are only 26 letters, so makikita na mga sudyante na, ah, hindi ito masyadong secure. That, so, and then um, we introduced here or use another cipher called the Vigenere cipher, which is what we usually describe to be poly alphabetic type of cipher as against the mono alphabetic cipher. So, I give here a short background um, place the Vigenere, okay, who created this kind of uh, crypto system, a simple crypto system, and then of course. For the students to be able to understand the system, we can tie an example. Okay, suppose the message to be sent is run now. And since uh, this type of Vigenere uh, cipher will make use of numbers, pwede natin palitan mo na si A ng 0, si B ng 1, C ng 2, etc. Hanggang the last letter becomes 25. And then we have to use what we call a keyword. We choose the keyword hush, H-U-S-H, which must also be converted in
and then you stop for the meantime. You let them reflect, which is more difficult to, to decrypt, a monoalphabetic crypto system or a polyalphabetic crypto system. So at this point, you're allowed, uh, apart from the actual knowledge that you have there, no, you have presented to the students, meron ka rin konting way of, you know, allowing them to reflect on what you just uh, taught. Okay, so the next thing, of course, may misa nagbibigay kami ng mga exercises. In one of these exercises, 